This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Growing in popularity across Asia, chilled U.S. beef, rather than frozen, adds value because it's shipped direct from packing plants to foreign markets in containers that are kept near the freezing point. Anytime you freeze something and thaw, you're breaking down the cells, you have more cooking loss, less water holding capability. So the fact that it's chilled, the, the, the image is of much higher quality beef. So a lot of these programs, not all, but a lot of them are centered around bringing in chilled to the Asian market. Some cuts, like short plates, are not popular in the U.S., but they're readily accepted overseas. They even bring premiums as high as $15 per head. One of the cuisines they have are like a thin uh, slice of a marinated short plate on a bed of rice into these uh, bento boxes in Japan. It's a, it's a real specialty item uh, that's targeted towards the convenience stores of Japan. Now, the convenience stores are not all that big, but they're high quality, and there's 55,000 of them in Japan. So if you add up 55,000 of them, it's a huge opportunity. Convenience stores in Asia have high-quality, perishable sections with a freshness focus. In Japan, processors pack items into those quick shopping stores several times every day. For the most part, these uh, bento boxes are being consumed the same day they're packed. Very, very high quality. So once again, it's a big contrast to what we think of as convenience stores here. Breaking into foreign markets takes patience. After 40 years in Japan, the U.S. Meat Export Federation is just getting to a time when it can reach out directly to consumers, which will drive retail demand. To be involved with a consumer, as you know, is very expensive. There's not unlimited funds. But, but the good news is the closer you can get to the consumer, the more payback for the industry, the more margin there is for, uh, for our industry. I'm Bob Cervera. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org.